Good afternoon, everyone. I just wanted to give you guys an update on my trip. So, Sunday afternoon when I was supposed to go into the superstitions, there was a bad storm that came through. I continued to hike and uh, tried to go through it, and I was on a ridge when part of the trail kind of gave way in some severe weather that we had. I ended up getting my foot crushed with a pretty good sized rock and broke a couple small bones in the top of my foot. Um, I took a day or two off and tried to continue, um, but it's with the size pack I have it's absolutely excruciating to try and carry any weight. <clears throat> So I was pretty bummed out and pretty depressed for a couple of days um, while I was trying to get back to where I wanted to be because um, this cause means everything to me. But unfortunately at this point I'm not able to continue with my foot. Um, but what I did do was I drove the rest of the trail and I stopped in small towns along the way and <clears throat> I told them what I was doing. I told him how I was hiking, how I made it 325 miles in, how I was averaging about 50 miles a day in that first week. And I was moving at an extremely good pace and my 22 day rejection was going to happen. Um, and due to some unforeseen circumstances, my foot, um, I still wanted to get the word out and I still wanted to show you guys some of the trail along the way. So I ended up driving, I stopped at a couple places and um, yeah, I told them what we were trying to accomplish and I got a good reception. I got people that were gonna donate. I got people that put up um, the flyers that I had made. So overall it was a success and that kind of goes to show you that even though bad things can happen there's always not always but there's something to be learned and gained in the outcome so I was in a very bad mood in a bad place because I didn't accomplish my goal and I felt like I let you guys down I felt like I let a lot of people down and it's not a good feeling um, and then once I started driving and I got support from people I'd never met before and I told them what I was doing and they they loved the idea and they were still going to donate even though I couldn't finish a trail and it was like I'm still trying to do good um, for the veterans that are struggling right now so that is the positive that came out of this and it really changed my mindset and it made me a lot happier because some good came out of a bad situation.
up my foot. I broke a couple bones in the top of my foot. But I still want to take you guys to some of the trailheads from here to Utah. Because I promised I would get you guys there. So Right now I'm in pine. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Been driving along for a little bit now, enjoying the views. It's pretty amazing out here. So, we're gonna keep driving and probably make our way up to the Grand Canyon here in a couple hours. I want you guys to see all the beauty that this state has to offer right now.
Happy Jack, Arizona at the Happy Jack Lodge, and I just met a very kind lady named Cersei. So as you guys know, I broke a couple bones in the top of my foot, so it was pretty much impossible for me to continue on. But what I wanted to do was I wanted to drive as much of the trail as I can, stop in little places like this, absolutely gorgeous hidden gems. Um, and like I said, I met this kind lady named Cersei and I told her about my cause. As you guys know, 22 veterans a day take their lives and uh, we're hiking to make a change and help these guys out before they get to that point. So I'm gonna keep spreading the word as I'm driving from here to the border of Utah. And um, I just wanna really thank Cersei. She's not a big video or picture person and I don't blame her, I've been very nervous. <laughs> doing this my whole life but I just want to say thank you to her very much for taking the time out of her day to kind of hear out what I had to say and I'll talk to you guys in
right guys once my foot heals up I'm definitely gonna definitely gonna do this trip again there's no doubt in my mind with the pace that I was going and the conditions that I was going in I could definitely beat the record for 15 days or whatever the record is I was averaging 50 miles a day sometimes things happen that are outside your circumstances this is one of those times but I turned it into a positive and I continued on trying to spread the word about my cause our cause trying to save lives one person at a time so I know this has been a shorter than anticipated journey but I appreciate having you guys along with me and every bit of your guys support this wouldn't have been possible the miles I was putting in if it wasn't for your guys' kind words and your guys' motivation so I love you guys and I'll see you next adventure